What do you do as your job? There you go. Uh, we check the traps and, and beat them. How do you do it? <laughs> well, somebody takes the lobster powder, but my job is to ban the lobster. So. Okay. How long does it take for lobsters to go in the net? Uh, overnight. Okay. What part of your job do you use math the most? Math? Yeah. Uh, The bullies, we do measurements so for the size of the lobster. So it's How do you know if the lobster is big enough to keep? Uh, we have a gauge, uh, like, I don't know if it, there's a gauge around it. Gauge, uh, like, I don't know if it, there's a gauge around it. Is there a gauge around here? No, I think Derek said that all of the Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we, we use the lobster gauge. For uh, undersized, we throw the undersized back in water. Okay. And uh, if you want to have eight snakes, uh, they go back in water. And undersized fish. Where's your location? Uh, around Peter Lodge, uh, around Caribou Island, before you get there. How long? How do you know? Good spot. Uh, we use a dip sound. Uh, we uh, use a like, for rocky uh, so the Try not to set them in the oh, sand. Yeah, right? Uh, less than a pound. A pound? Yes. Okay. Maybe a pound. Roughly a pound, I guess, I would say. How long? How long were you fishing? Uh, on and off for 20 years or more. Was it the same kind of system? Did you have to use a gauge then to decide what lobsters, or did you just know by size? No, like we have to use a gauge. There was a gauge then? Yeah, because, uh, because uh, if you're off by a little bit, uh, you could get charged, huh? you know. Be fine, huh? Oh, man. Lose your lobster privileges for one week for the next season, huh? And that's a big loss. But how much lobster do you bring in in a week? Uh, it depends on the ground. So, like, uh, it depends year to year, too. Are you okay? like, it's hard to say right now. Like, can't say exactly. Ground. So, like, uh, it depends year to year, too. Are you okay? like, it's hard to say right now. Like, I can't say it's yeah. Was it a good year last year? Uh, yes, it was. Yeah. And what would be average yeah. on a day that you guys would take in? Um, our average last uh, year was about, uh, <laughs> I would say probably around 300 pounds anyway. <laughs> Sometimes more. Probably around four. What do you do as your job? I empty traps and take lobster out and I bait them. How do you do it? I bait the traps, take the lobster out. <laughs> How long does it take for fish to go in the net? One day. One day. Okay. What part of your job you use mass the most? Mass the most. Um. We just had to count all our rope. Normally, normally when they measure the rope, they go by phantoms, right? So one phantom, one phantom is like six, six feet. So when you measure out your hands like that, that's about six feet. All right? Yep. So like right now, we're measuring out a buoy line. Uh, they say you need 10 phantoms, so you go about, uh, you go 10 times, that's 60 feet. Holy. Alright. We did it. Dominic can do the next demonstration for you. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> 10 
if we back it, does. It's becoming a stir. But that's what Dominic's doing right now. That's a rope, rope cutter. Okay. That's the, uh, lead line. We're putting lead line on the on the rope, so you don't have any, so you don't have any floating. Rope. What is your job? My job? My job is uh, I'm a captain of a fish, fishing boat off. What do you do as your job? I drive the boat. I drive my workers to pick up our traps. How long does it take for fish to go in the net? It goes in a trap probably about 12 hours. How long? Oh. What part of your job do you use math the most? I use math the most? Yes. Probably getting ready. Getting the gear ready. Okay. Where's your location? Sinclair's Island. How do you know that's a good spot? My plotter, sounder. What's the normal weight of a lobster? Uh, about a pound and a half. <laughs> and it's in the water? The lobsters, you put your bait in here first, you know, on those spindles here. Put your coffee down and explain it. Put your bait on here, usually here, and then you close it back up, throw it in water, and the lobsters climb up in here, climb in here, to the parlor, and they get stuck in here. The next morning, hopefully there's a bunch. How many lobsters will that hold? This will hold probably both. Oh. Put three or four dozen. What's three or four dozen in those that? Those are doors for our traps. Okay. What part of the trap? The door. Do <laughs> you make your traps here? No. We buy them. We just make our own doors. Okay. Replacing them. That there shows how deep our water is right now. Four to three feet. This red part right here shows the ground bottom. And that is what you look for when you're dropping traps. And right here shows where all our traps are. Each one of these numbers indicate a trawl. And after we pick up a trawl, we change it to a different color like this one. And that is where we are exactly where we are with our latitude and longitude. Our speed. Right there. So how is use the case here, Tom? Central, your partner in home improvement. How Bella Lyon makes being a couple better. Let's get Bella Lyon High Speed Ultra. Sounds fast. Anyone can be fast. It's got something else. A 
Okay. Consistency. Two markets. You are inconsistent. Sometimes that was a canner. On the floor, sometimes in the bed. I thought we were talking about Another canner. Bella Lyant High Speed Ultra is consistently fast. And I'm a lovable slob. Bella Lyant High Speed Ultra. And market. From that buoy line to the trawl is fin 10 phantoms long. Which is usually one phantom is six feet. Now from one trawl, one trap to another trap is also 10 phantoms long. That's how far apart they're spread underwater. This here is a female lobster. All those eggs on the bottom of it, we have to throw them back in. Thank you, dear.